Greetings everyone and welcome to my little garden. Valentine's Day is the season of flowers and in today's video, we will be looking at the design elements of Digimon's most popular flower, Lilymon. This fairy Digimon is best known as the ultimate form of Mimi's partner, Palmon. Her manifestation resulted as a response to Mimi's pure heart and many of her design choices perfectly reflects that. For starters, Lilymon's design is based on two major elements, flowers and fairies. Fairies are mythical creatures that originated from many different European cultures, and as such, they come in many different shapes and sizes. Fairies are often connected to different natural elements, and in Lilymon's case, her powers are derived from plants. Speaking of plants, the lily is the most prominent flower that inspires her design. There are many flowers that we call lilies, such as desert lilies and water lilies, but are technically not lilies at all. According to the Digimon reference book, Lilymon is born from beautifully blooming petals. As Togemon evolves into Lilymon, we can actually see Lilymon emerge from a blooming flower, and the flower itself comes from Togemon. Now, many species of cactus actually produce strikingly gorgeous flowers, which are sometimes casually referred to as cactus lilies. However, these flowers are not considered true lilies, which are flowers from the genus Lilium. So, is Lilymon actually a cactus lily? Does this mean that she's not even a true lily at all? My answer is, I think she's both, and we'll get into that more later. For now, let's take a look at Lilymon's design. When looking at her appearance, Lilymon's color palette heavily leans on pink and green. The floral designs of her dress and the petals on her head, skirt, wrists, and boots make for obvious visual indicators of her theme. She has a childlike appearance, with a delicate figure to emphasize her whimsical nature. Her large eyes and simple facial features are the biggest giveaway that she is indeed a non-human. Her dress has a simple design that is similar to classic fairies like Tinkerbell. She has leaf-like wings and hair made of vines, further solidifying her connection to plant life. And a few interesting details, depending on the artist, Lilymon may have long, sharp red nails. In the anime and most of her other official art, her nails are short and trimmed. Also, the number of yellow petals on her sleeve may have anywhere between 3 to 6 depending on the art. These are just minor details I noticed in the making of this video though. Moving on, Lilymon is said to wield vast power despite her appearance. She is fast and incredibly agile, capable of evading projectiles with ease. Her signature move is called Flower Cannon, in which the petals around her wrists manifest a larger flower that shoots a blast of energy. In the 2020 reboot, Flower Cannon also gains rapid fire and beam variations. While Flower Cannon is her most recognizable skill, it's actually her manipulation of plant life that's more interesting to me. Whenever we see Lilymon use the power to create new plants, it is when she is purifying a Digimon that's being affected by a virus or some kind of mind control. Her ability to cleanse Digimon from such effects is exactly the reason why the Lily is her main inspiration. First, let me just address that Lilymon is partially inspired by cactus lilies, since the flower that blooms from Togemon is where Lilymon comes from to begin with. As stated before, cactus lilies are not true lilies. Flowers from the Lilium genus is what mainly inspires Lilymon's design elements. Pink, yellow, and white lilies in particular align with her lore and anime appearances. Pink lilies represent femininity and wealth, and it's no coincidence that this should remind you of Mimi, Lilymon's partner in the anime. Yellow lilies represent friendship and joy. The yellow petals around her wrists perfectly connects with her lore which states that Lilymon shows mercy to the weak. I'd like to think of it as Lilymon extending her friendship to Digimon using her hands. And when she has to defend the weak, those same hands have the power to protect them. And lastly, white lilies symbolize purity. Although Lilymon herself is not a white flower, she does embody the meaning of purity in her overall design. 
Much like the rose, lilies are also closely associated with the Virgin Mary, who is a symbol of purity. All of these qualities truly make Lilymon the perfect match for Mimi. In the anime, Mimi is spoiled because of her wealthy upbringing, but she is inherently kind and sincere, with a heart that strongly opposes the suffering of the weak. Without a doubt, Lilymon is the very manifestation of Mimi's innermost virtues, and everything about Lilymon's design elements definitively supports this. We have made it to the end of the video. Flowers don't always have to be an expression of romantic love. They can also be a celebration of the bonds you hold dear in your heart. Lilies are a great way to show your friends or family just how much they mean to you. Just be sure to keep your cats away from lilies though. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Happy Valentine's Day and train hard, tamers!